and so right now you're living in uh, on a farm uh, yeah. in southern kind of southern Ohio. Southeast right? Ohio in the Mariana area. It's not really, it used to be a farm. Okay. It used to be a commercial orchard actually. Oh wow. Um, but it's quite overgrown and now gone to the Chats and the Toeys. So okay. um, yeah, 80 acres of just uh, Appalachian woodland. 80 you know. acres? Well, you know, bought long enough ago, it was $350 an acre when we bought. So it's not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I bet, yeah. 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 Not that I'm rich, but you know. No, no. so on your property, uh, do you do daily walks? Do you, oh, gosh, yes. yeah. Yeah. you have a, like a certain route that you like to take? I have like, a lot of routes. Oh, that should be here at this time of the year. Exactly. Or oh, I should be hearing the, or oh, that should be blooming. Oh yeah, phenology is incredibly important yeah. to me. And in fact, I, I keep a calendar, a handmade calendar, uh, with big squares, and I write arrivals in it. Mm -hmm. And I've noted the shift over the years of earlier and wow. earlier arrivals. Oh, I've, been, I've been looking for 24 years, yeah. so yeah. you know that's not an insignificant that's slice right. of yeah. time. Yeah. And especially with bird ranges being so dynamic, mm -hmm. and they're so reactive to weather and climate changes, that I've really noticed some changes. I'll bet, and, yeah. Uh, you know, things are getting here very, very early. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in a spring like this is a, a bum spring by <laughs> any uh, yeah, it's measure. Different for yeah, sure. Yeah. So nobody's in yet except yeah. the gnat catchers. Um, so it's going to be very interesting when I get home to see what what has changed yeah, and what right, has come in. Right. Yeah. Right. But yeah, the roots. I have probably a dozen roots that I take um, within seven miles or so of my house, and I'm not afraid of distances. You know, mm -hmm. I'll do an eight or nine mile day without yeah. any problem. Wow. And uh, and the stuff I see is just incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get out every day, the things you see. Uh, astound people, you know, like you see bobcats and stuff. If you go out, but you got to go out, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, a lot of people think, oh, you have to go to Africa, you have to go to Australia, you have to go to Alaska mm -hmm. to see all this wonderful mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. when it's right in our backyards or Gr front yards or cities for that yeah. matter. Well, great story. Um, uh, August, for the last two Augusts, right on the 17th, for some reason, a bobcat has shown up in my backyard. And I'm talking 30 feet from the window. And um, last, uh, or year before last, I was watching this animal for 10 days and photographing his every move. And I named him James. And it was just James. such a blessing to have this thing in my yard. It was the best thing I've ever seen. Well, then I had to go to South Africa to go look at leopards, right? <laughs> and I didn't want to go. <laughs> you had your leopard in I the did, yard. I yeah. did. I did. And then I, and I thought, well, that'll never happen again. August 17th last wow. year, a female showed up who I called Cindy. And she hunted squirrels and rabbits and mice in my wow. yard. It was awesome. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, the, the wild is coming back, especially in southeast Ohio, in a big, big way. Yeah. Roaring back, in fact. Yes. Because it's all gone back to forest. Mm -hmm. You know, we, have, we now have the habitat that was yeah. denuded only 50 years ago. Sure. Right. Yeah.